First of all, yes, I realize that the whole Bonza drama is kind of old at this point, but I still want to give like my view on the situation. Second of all, I'm not trying to take sides in this video, but that's pretty damn hard when one person, not gonna name names, keeps deleting their videos on the situation. So yeah, it makes it kind of hard to evaluate the whole situation when one side keeps deleting their side of the story. And even though I don't know what I'm gonna call this video yet, I probably am going to cater the name of this video to one specific side in the argument. That is not because I either agree or disagree with that side, that's mainly because it would make for a more catching title. So anyway, this whole drama started when Bonza made a video on Griffin Gaming, a pretty bad video, which he has since deleted, but this whole argument was that Griffin Gaming was just a shameless ripoff of Leafy because they have the same editing style, they both make fun of people's appearances, and they have a similar voice. A lot of people use Leafy's editing style, I use it in this video, Bonza himself uses it quite a lot so it's quite hypocritical of him to criticize Griffin for it. And then making fun of people's looks, I can only think of a few commentary channels that don't do that at all, and that's like, what, fucking D'Angelo Wallace, one of the most boring content creators on the platform. And yes, he could be mimicking Leafy's voice, but it could also be just a coincidence and they have a similar voice like there's no evidence that he's copying his voice on purpose and in this video he also neglects to mention that griffin and leafy made videos on very very different topics griffin tends to make videos about people who have dumb opinions regarding gaming and leafy tended to make videos about things he thought were cringy anyway griffin responded to bonza's video in a live stream where he more made fun of bonza for the way he looked and the way his room looked than actually going in on his arguments. Now Bonza decided to respond to Griffin's livestream by saying, hey, you just kind of made fun of me instead of, you know, talking about my arguments. But in that same video, Bonza actively tries to manipulate the viewer with this clip. You know, he is a skinhead. Okay, now that's actually like slander. That was now, while the rest of the video is deleted, this clip is still in uh, I'm also Alex's video on the situation. He is someone we're gonna talk about a little bit later in this video. But essentially, in the clip, Bonza is trying to accuse Griffin Gaming of slandering him because he called him a skinhead. Skinhead obviously referring to the subculture that was created in the 1960s, which eventually in the 1990s, some of those skinhead gangs became very neo-Naziist or very communist in nature. Now the problem here is, is that Griffin never actually called him a skinhead. Griffin was merely reading a donation of someone else who called him a skinhead. Bonza deliberately chose to cut out the context of the clip. Simply reading something someone else wrote down does not make slander. I do have to call out I'm also Alex here because while his video on the Bonza situation was very good, it has one very bad argument in it and that is when he responds to Bonza claiming that he was slandered because of the skinhead comment. And he even goes as far to quote a definition but the best part about that is number one he used a fucking Webster definition aka a definition from one of the least respected dictionaries and number two he purposely lies about what the top definition is on Webster's fucking website. He completely ignored Webster's top definition so that he could form a false narrative surrounding Griffin Gaming. I still can't stop laughing at the fact even Webster disagrees with him and out of all the main dictionaries Oxford doesn't back him up, Cambridge doesn't back him up, Dictionary.com doesn't back him up until the fourth most common definition and Webster only partially backs him up. Now if he was going to try and claim that the meaning of skinhead was a white supremacist he would have to prove how Webster have got the definition the wrong way round, and secondly, he would have to prove how Webster's definition is more factual than the Oxford Dictionaries and the Cambridge Dictionaries definition. Now, I'm also Alex is saying that the definition of a skinhead is someone who simply has very short hair, which is not true. And he uses the top definitions of all these dictionaries to support his argument. This is dumb because when I talk to someone about skinheads, the first thing they're gonna think of is the gangs and the subculture not people with very short hair. It's like if I were to call someone a rock fan and instead of them thinking that I'm calling them a fan of rock music, they would think that I'm calling them a fan of actual rocks because the top definition of OxfordDictionary.com of a rock is a rock. 
Also, when you Wikipedia skinhead, you immediately get the gangs and the subculture. And also, the person that left the donation and was calling him a skinhead was obviously not referring to the lack of hair, because Bonza obviously does have hair. So, in this part of the video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how Bonza is quite the big hypocrite. If you want more in-depth information about what I'm going to be talking about now, you can watch I'm Also Alex's video. Again, it's a pretty good video. But in short, when Griffin made fun of Bonza's appearance, Bonza called him out for it, even though he himself has earlier in his first video on Griffin made fun of Griffin's voice. He has called Griffin a pussy for hiding his face and unlisting the live streams, even though he na even though Bonza now unlists his own videos constantly and doesn't show his face anymore. And Bonza has recently turned off his like to dislike ratio so he can't be ratioed any anymore, even though he himself in the past has called for other people to be ratioed by his fans. There are a couple more examples, but I think the most important one is how he himself constantly dishes out criticism but is completely incapable of taking any criticism or hate whatsoever. He has banned people from his Discord server for disagreeing with him, and when he made a response video to the video made by I'm Also Alex, he pretty much only covered about 3 minutes of the entire 30 minute video and just ignored all the rest of the criticism. He then went on to make a video about how all the criticism was like bad for his health and how it was affecting his heart condition. After which he was accused of making up his heart condition to gain sympathy points. Now personally, I believe that my man indeed does have a heart condition because I don't see why he would lie about it. But the main reason I believe it is the way he responded to people not believing him because he went fucking apeshit. Pretty much what happened is people started calling him a liar and saying that he didn't have a heart condition, which m made him fucking go insane, which that reaction probably caused more people to hate on him and call his heart condition fake because they thought it was funny because that's how the internet works, which eventually led him to delete all of the, his videos on the subject and make a new video saying he was going to quit the internet and never make YouTube videos again. Until like two days later when he deleted that video and started making f YouTube videos again. I thought that this reaction was very incredibly fucking petty. Everything you're gonna put on the internet is gonna get criticized or hated, okay? And if you cannot handle that, then you should not be on the internet. And really, what did you expect? You made a video on Griffin Gaming and no matter how good it would have been, right? Even if it was the best video of all time, people would have still come for you. Because he has like 100k subs and you have like 4k. Bonza, you are a hypocrite, you're petty, your reaction to people hating on you was completely fucking over the top. And I'm talking as someone who has had a video made on them as well of a YouTuber with over 100k criticizing me and their fans coming for me. When making this video, like I said at the beginning, I tried to not take sides and to look at it as non-biased as possible. But that's really hard when one side is simply criticizing Bonza in this case. Maybe being a little bit mean here and there. And Bonza being a hypocrite, lying to his audience. And deleting all his videos, threatening to quit YouTube because he got a little bit of hate. So my final thoughts on this drama are that both sides have done things wrong, obviously, you know. But the shit Bonza pulled and how petty he acted when he got a little bit of hate, just, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But anyway, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and all that other shit YouTubers want you to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.